Okay, so this is a, a common problem that happens to me that the cabinet gets really, really smoky inside my laser. Uh, there's a few things we need to check when we do this. So I'm going to show you the few, cul few, few culprits and something that I've done to make this happen less frequently. Um, I'll touch base on that as well. So I'm going to take you up the tripod. We are working with my rabbit laser. Sorry, I, I know my video quality is spot on and perfect. I'm going to be working on my rabbit laser. Uh, first thing you need to check is your honeycomb clear. So I'll take you down into it and I. Uh, and into my honeycomb and uh, turn my machine on and so you guys can get a good shot of this here. Okay, so this is your, your honeycomb on the bottom of your laser. Some of you don't have these, but those of you that do, you need to make sure they're clear. You can see down here, you can't see all the way through it. I mean, you can see all the way through it. Find a clock spot here. This one right here is a little clogged. This is all clogged in through here. That's the first thing you check just because it's the easiest thing to check. It's probably the least likely to be the problem, but it can be a problem. I have a video on how to simply clean out your honeycomb. Super easy. I'll put a link right here and I'll put one in the description. Uh, the second place is there's going to be a filter, a, a screen or some sort of metal mesh uh, to keep pieces from flying out into your exhaust fan. In my uh, rabbit laser, I'll show you, there's a drawer down here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I actually just cleaned this one out recently, so I don't expect it to be too bad. In the rabbit laser, in the, uh, the QX 1290, is a set of doors down here. Open these guys up. And yes, I'm filthy down here. But this drawer, this is the underside, so here's your honeycomb. Make sure your laser's not running. Come down, open your doors, and there's a drawer. So this drawer, this, okay, so this drawer catches your tiny pieces. Okay, so they come in through the, um, the uh, laser, and your tiny pieces that get cut through and fall through the honeycomb will get collected in here, and this right here can get carbon buildup. This is very common. All you gotta do is scrape it off. So it's very common to have this screen get clogged with carbon and dust and yucky stuff because you got this exhaust fan just sucking this air through. And if you're doing a lot of laser cutting, there's gonna be a lot of carbon. Even if you're doing engraving, there's a lot of smoke and this thing's gonna get clogged up. So make sure you check this. So on my rabbit lasers, it's here. On my um, eBay special laser, you know, uh, the 20 inch or 28 inch laser. Got my rolling pins machine set up in here. Uh, there's a, off to the left, this does, this machine doesn't have a downdraft. If you have a downdraft, your uh, screen's gonna be somewhere below the honeycomb. Uh, so this one doesn't have a downdraft, it just has a thing that sucks the smoke out through the side. So I'm gonna show you it real quick. Come into here. You see this, this mesh right here, this gets clogged up. Look at that, look how dirty this one is. I'm just with where I'm going with my fingers. So what I gotta do is clean this really good with a brush all the way down and you'll be back in business. It'll be better anyways. All right, so the third laser style I'm gonna show you today, I can't really show it to you because it's actually running, but I can explain it. We're running some coasters. If any of you watched my previous video, let's see if you catch those coasters. Right, so I'll show you this machine. So here's the machine. So it's currently engraving. I can't show it to you. I wish I could. It's going to be engraving this for some time. But at, we need to take this uh, piece of wood out that I'm engraving on. And then underneath it's the honeycomb. Then underneath the honeycomb, this one I have to take the honeycomb out, which is super annoying. There is a screen back in there where the exhaust port hooks up because it's a downdraft table. And you've got to clean that one. Gets clogged up. It happens all the time. All right. It happens all the time. I hate that one. It gets clogged up all the time. All right, now the other, the other area. It doesn't happen quite as much, but it's worth the check just because it's super simple. This one takes me to go outside. So let's go outside. This is where my laser's exhaust. See these meshes right here? Zoom in. Sorry, I gotta get a ladder. Let's zoom in. These particular ones 
I made sure that were wide, but my previous one had a really narrow screen on there, and these would get clogged up all the time. So you need to make sure you get those unclogged. Now, the utmost, most common. Lock myself out of my... So, I'm back inside. I know, motion sickness, right? Uh, the, this is the most common one. And it's my least favorite one because how hard it is to clean out. That's what the problem is I just had. And I got a, prof, I got a solution for you. But uh, it's in your fan. In your exhaust fan. So I don't care what kind of exhaust fan you have. Right here. So there's two things that can happen inside this fan. Well, three. One's a failure. We hope that it's not a failure. I'm going with the most common. There's this mesh in, in the behind in the fan, the same as all the other machines, but it's more narrow. It's more narrow than the machines and everything else. So it gets clogged first. That mesh gets clogged. I, for me, I run I have three lasers engravers, and one of them runs eight hours a day. The other one probably four to six and the other one just during the peak seasons it's running all the time but this is the one that runs eight hours a day five to six days a week um, and oh my gosh that screen gets clogged up so you gotta pop the fan the um you gotta break the hose off pull the hose off clean that off but not only that sometimes if you put swap behind that little screen you take that off and the fan blades themselves are clogged up. It's ridiculous. So I've, I, I've got to clean this thing out once a month. So I finally got some sense. And I put on a filter box. Let me show you this. So here is the filter box. Right here. So we pipe it from the laser, comes down into this box out of the box and then into the fan look how simple this is so this is a filter i've only been running this thing maybe a day oh, oh yeah a day and a half i installed it on friday say saturday so you push this button this opens and you see now over here we should be able to see it over here's where the port comes in the port goes out but it has to travel through this filter look at this that's a day and a half of filtering that would have got clogged into my fan so once a month instead of crawling back it's just really nice I'm, so i'm going to put a link in my description of that filter box it saves you so much time like instead of crawling back there and getting nasty and dirty once a month taking 20 the laser will be down 20 30 minutes once a month it sounds doesn't sounds ridiculous but you see how many machines we got going on here i got I don't know, seven, eight people working here every day. And I, I could barely even make my YouTube videos, but I really want to make them for you. But if anything, it could save me some time. I'll, 99 cents, open that little door and pop a new filter in for 99 cents. The most common problem with the smoke in your lasers will be solved with that. Uh, well, that's it for this video. So, I, really, that's it. Actually, I normally work on it. I normally work on my thumbnails. But I cleaned all these things yesterday while there was a bunch of people here to get them working again. And I couldn't, you know, I got an idea. Because I got some. It's gross, right? How to clean that stuff up? How to clean your yucky stuff? I don't know. I may not even use this as my thumbnail. I might just make a thumbnail, but still, I enjoy making them, making this part of it. So. Jay, thanks for watching.